Hello friends and welcome to Pi Shine. This is part 19 of the Pi QT5 learning series. Today, you will learn how to add a language classifier to the graphical user interface. The classification updates the selected language. It will be displayed automatically. All right, first, we will copy the Python script for GUI from previous part 18. Paste it to a GUI.py file. Now, we need to install this Tessa library using pip install. Import the PyTestBase API for classification. We have made a list of languages that will be used in the classification process by this API. You can reduce this list according to your requirements. Please make sure that the name keywords should match with Tesseract names. Now, we will make a function to get the confidence level of a possible language given the input image. We will initialize the API for a given language and pass the image file to it. The detected words in an image will have some confidence values. All word confidences will be collected as list. Then, it will be summed and divided by the number of words found in the list. Finally, this function will return the score per language given an image. We can call this function inside the image to text function. We will iterate all the possible languages and collect their scores from the cropped PNG image. From the list of collected output, we will find the index of the maximum score. The language with maximum score has the highest confidence value. Let's run the code. Here, we can observe that the detected language is Arabic with a score of about 92. Let's try another language. This time, it is detected as Bangla with a score of 71. Let's try the simplified Chinese language. 
This time the detected language is correct and score is about 92. We can proceed with more experiments. You may have noticed that the displayed language contains only English letters. The reason is that the Tesseract is given English as the default language from the combo box. Now, we will update the combo box based on the detected language so that the display language prints correctly as well inside the GUI. Here, as we know the detected language, we can simply set it as self.language and provide it to update now function. We can use the reduced list here as well. Let's run the code. We can observe that, this time the combo box is updated automatically, and the displayed language is printed inside the GUI.